There are times when you're giving a presentation in front of a group of students and you're asking them questions and you're getting some responses and the responses are good and you want to record them somewhere. But in order to write on the PowerPoint slide, you have to exit the presentation. Otherwise, you can't write in the box. So you can see on this slide, what I've got is a question. Would you hire this person? And I want some information in the box given to me by my students so I can make notes of what they're saying and they can write that up later on. But I have to exit the presentation so I can write something in this here text box. I don't want to stop my presentation and then have to find the slide again and start it again. I want to be able to write straight on that slide without leaving the presentation. So is this doable? Well, yes, it is. So you can see here from this slide, we also have a box, but it's a slightly different box. If I try and write on this box, it doesn't let me. And the reason for that is because it's a different kind of text box. If I was to run the show now from here, while the show is still in full flow, I get the option to write something in that box without leaving the presentation. When I X the presentation later on, you can see the text remains in the text box. And if I uh, no longer want that text because I want to reuse this slide, then all I have to do is just run the show from this slide again, and I'm back into edit mode. So it works completely the opposite to the way you would normally use text boxes on these slides. So how do you set these up? Well, you're going to need the developer tab on show. So if you haven't got that, go file, options, customize ribbon, and then scroll down this right hand side window until you find developer and put a tick in that box. Then we use this text box up here. And all we do is drag the text box to the shape that we want it to be. Now it's asking me, do I want to use this ActiveX? Well, yes, I do. Thank you very much. There's a couple of things we need to do in order to get the full functionality out of this box. So we need to go up to where it says properties because we need the properties for this box. So there's a few things we need to change. If we scroll, just look with the mouse here, if we just move down, we can see there are various um, different options for this text box. We need a, a, to change a, a couple of these settings. So the first thing we need to do maybe is think about the font. So font here says Arial. If I click these three um, dots, then it takes me to the uh, familiar font picker, Arial, regular, and I'm going to change mine to something a bit bigger, 2022, so I can see it from the back okay now there's a couple of other things that we need to change the first one here is this enter key behavior so we want to make that true so when we press enter we can move down moving down uh, a little bit more we've got this multi-line so yeah i want more than one line in my text box so i'm going to make that true and the only other thing is scroll bars at the moment, it, it's set to none, and I want to set it to two, so I get vertical scroll bars. Okay, so uh, here's how this works. Go slideshow from current slide, and we can just write in this box, delete things in this box, press enter the multi-line, and press enter key true is working for us. And I can just highlight that and escape. And I've got a working text box that works during the presentation.